Okay, so today we'll be going over the 2D randomizer or the randomizer 2D template. Uh, so the first thing you do is open up Effect House, scroll down. Once you see this, this is the randomizer 2D template. Uh, we click on it and then we wait for a bit. Okay, so here we are. We just uh, hopped in. We're on the template right now. And this is a pretty popular template. If you're getting into Effect House, this may be your first uh, your first interaction with the program or just the first temp the first kind of effect you probably create and it's just like that you have a cover image then it fades out and then we go into this randomizer and then a result shows so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to import the assets that we want to use now when you do this you'd hit asset here the plus icon here add asset import and then texture sequence why are we using a texture sequence? A texture sequence is a sequence of textures or a group, group of images. That way it's for this for this uh, template, that's what it uses. It chooses between a group of images and then it just throws it on out there, uh, the result. So it's a texture sequence, our uh, randomizer template. And I have these images from another effect that I did. Uh, for your texture sequences, they all have to be the same size or it won't work. You're going to get an error. So try to make sure they're, they're around the same size or the same dimensions. Because if they're not, it won't work. So select all. Then a texture sequence will be created. And uh, oh, also another thing. Uh, if you're using a lot of images, try to compress them beforehand. Because there is a 5 megabyte uh, limit. So try to compress your textures as much. I compressed these before I imported them. And you can also go over here where it says compression type and manual compression. And you can say quality, medium, low. You can change the resolution. But right now, 1.98 megabytes, that's fine. Um, so the next thing we'll do is to would go over to Planet 2D Animated Animation Sets and just replace this texture with the one we imported. So you can just click on that. And let's see how it looks so far. There we go. It's already coming out pretty cool. Next, all we'll do is import from the computer and uh, let's import a cover image. And this is basically the image you see that fades out and then the randomization starts. And then for that, you go over here. Now, this is the hierarchy panel. This is where, uh, like, this 2D object, this 2D image object. So where it says title or place texture, you come here. And then you come to the texture and then just replace the cover. And there we have it. So in the general sense, it's all good. It's all done. Let's test this out. So... A little bit more as to what's going on here. This is the visual scripting area. This is where most of the calculations are being done. Uh, this is a node. So this is a start node. And what this is saying is when the effect starts or when you open the effect in TikTok before you even record, as soon as you open the effect, um, it would start this whole, it would basically do this. This would be there, then it fades out. It plays the effect. That's what it means by start. It's basically, oh, we'll play the effect as soon as you open TikTok. Now, this uh, this node is the video record. And on start, so as soon as you start recording, uh, it also plays it. So what that what that would look like is you open the app in TikTok. You open the filter in TikTok. And the effect would play immediately. Now, if you hit record, if you hit record here, um, wherever you were in the effect, it would stop and then it would just start over. It would immediately start over and then play the effect again. Now, if you want it to only play when you record, you could just click here and delete this, and it would only play once you record. And um, it relays over here, you might be like, oh, but it's not recording. Uh, in the preview window, it's always in record mode, so that's why it's, it's, still, con it's still continuing to play. All right, so let's put this back because I'd like it to play on both. Um, you have a few more options. You have the tap to spin, which is if you check this, the effect won't play until you tap the screen. So we tap the screen and then it plays. 
All right, let's turn that off. And pause this for a bit. You also have time to spin. This is how long it takes to shuffle between all the images. So right now it's at sub five. Just so you can see a bit more extreme, let's set it to two. One, two. And there we go. Let's set that back to five. Let's pause this. Uh, you also have title delay. This is how long the original image, the what anime character are you image, will stay on screen before it fades out. So right now it's set to one, a bit more extreme so we can see it. And there you go, it's still on screen. And then it fades. So let's set this back to one. And finally, the title fade out time. And as you can guess, it's how long it stays on the screen until it fades out. Uh, I like to give enough time to the user of the filter just to see what it says before it fades out. But yeah, that is the general that is uh, the general use of this filter. I do recommend going into this uh, subgroup because this is custom made. Uh, that's why it's this easy to use it. It's custom made, so I do recommend like going inside seeing what's going on and you know trying to figure out how you can add on to the effect or make it cooler so yeah if you have any more questions uh the discord the discord group for effect house will be in the description and a bunch of a bunch of creators are there always ready to help or just post the effect you made and um yeah it's pretty fun